The property that we're very much looking forward to showing you now is set in the village of Frant, in the heart of the beautiful East Sussex countryside, which you're seeing panning around you now. Frant is a very popular village. It's got a real sense of community, a very well regarded local Church of England primary school, a really excellent village pub right in the centre and one also just on the slightly outside, and miles and miles of beautiful countryside walks on your doorstep. Tunbridge Wells can be reached in about five minutes by car and you come into the south side of the town, so the side with the Pantiles, the High Street and the Main Line Station. So all in all, a fabulous location made even better by the seclusion and privacy that this detached 1970s property enjoys. So the current owners have been there just under 25 years. As I've said, it was built in the 1970s. You've got a good driveway, that garage that you can see behind my colleague Emma, and then storeroom to the side of that as well. The property itself is very spacious. You access it from the right. It's got very flexible accommodation. You've got three separate reception rooms, four bedrooms, ensuite bathroom, a really beautiful garden, and certainly the chance to remodel. So I'll hand over to Emma and she'll show you around. As you can see now, the downstairs WC is on our left as we come in to the property, really good size. Just adjacent to that is the large open plan kitchen. So we've got lovely windows on two elevations, um, an awful lot of work surface space and cabinetry, both high level and low level, an area of dining here, and one of the four reception spaces directly ahead with doors onto the garden. Uh, just on the left here is access to a very large utility and pantry area as well. So one of the four reception spaces here with a door into the garden. Immediately next to that is a room currently used as a dining room. Again, double elevation in terms of windows, so lovely and light. Very, very nice outlook onto the garden. And this room leads into the formal reception room, also accessed from the uh, front door and the hallway, so the accommodation flows beautifully around the space. This is a very, very spacious room indeed. We've got a lovely feature fireplace. We've got windows, uh, again, on two aspects, double French doors leading into the garden. Uh, and there is also a sunroom at the end, again, with a beautiful aspect onto the garden. We're at the front of the property here at this end of the room, uh, but we'll go and have a look now at this magnificent garden. So as you can see, it's laid predominantly to lawn. We've got a good area of patio here. Uh, coming round to the property, we are now on our left-hand side accessing the dining room. So this is what we look out onto from the dining area. Lovely uh, area of paving with a raised lawn area, beautiful uh, shrubs and mature planting in the beds. Uh, some very nice steps that lead up here into uh, an additional part of the garden, which is really like a little secret garden. There's a couple of beautiful apple trees uh, and a small vegetable patch, as well as a potting shed. The gardens loop really nicely around this house. Uh, so the house sits nice and centrally in its plot. You've got the large driveway to the front. Uh, and if we were to um, take uh, the, to the right hand side there, there's an additional shed and the property, uh, the path loops round the property back to the front of the house. So at the top of the stairs here, we've got a beautiful wide hallway, really flooded with light and all of the accommodation flows nicely off this space. We've just seen a nice area of study uh, and there are four bedrooms and two bathrooms to show you. Into the first bedroom here, good size double, lovely double aspect of windows, beautiful countryside, far reaching views as you can see. 
The current owner has got some really sizable pieces of furniture, so it shows that a room this size can easily take that furniture. Into the master bedroom, again a double aspect, very, very spacious room indeed, with an ensuite bathroom. So large cupboards, chest of drawers here, and a good size ensuite shower room as well. Family bathroom, which serves the other two bedrooms, also a good size, nice aspect across the side there with a shower over the bath. And down the corridor, the smallest of the four bedrooms here on the left, um, used as a single bedroom or a study at the moment, some fitted cabinetry there. And then the last of the four bedrooms, another very good size double, plenty of space for storage. There's fitted units at the moment um, and a lovely double aspect again. The house really is flooded with light. There's double aspects on many, many of the rooms and it's really very nice and light and bright.